everybody i'm your host brian watkins and welcome to another edition of the brian watkins channel my subject today is about a review that i'm doing it's called the section eight welfare queen roast and it's about a brother why am i making this video because brothers haven't y'all all noticed all your life when women do skank, fuck, booger old stuff, mm -hmm. and other women come into a knowledge of it, even though those women know that this female skank, booger nose, wench, is wrong, they still stick together, don't they? Yes. So, reason why I'm making this video is because I'm about to show support to him. I'm about to show y'all his whole video on my channel right now. Are you ready? Here you go. Let's get started. Check them out. This is funny, y'all. This is funny. <laughs> oh, here you go. Oh, these black bitches about to be here for a surprise. Trump cutting off benefits. These hoes gonna look a little loud. They gonna be looking like first 48 victims when they, they run out. Like, oh, is that my baby? Oh, not my baby. That's my child. That's my wife. The food stamps, God damn. Me too. All these bitches' facial expressions when it happened. It's gonna be a whole lot of clips on World Star Hip Hop, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no more. I'm hungry. Let me get my EBT card. Pay for that. I don't want to use my money. I need that money. I can go my gas tank. Boy, these bitches gonna be the best motherfuckers when it come to saving their money. I'm telling. You. I'm laughing at them, man. These hoes gonna be doing real bad. They can really hate life. They take this away. This suicide rate gonna go up. They ain't gonna know how to live. There's gonna be a line of motherfucking bitches jumping off the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Mortician got his hands full. Oh, man. I tell you one thing, you better take away that old boy. It's that food pantry drive. This is him. They gonna be hitting that motherfucker. Oh, Hell yeah. <laughs> that line gonna be looking like a line to get on the motherfucking son of beast to King Tide. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, this, that, this shit gonna be crazy as hell. Let me quick cuss real quick. Get out real quick, baby. Get out. Go in your room before I whoop you. Go in your room. Back to what I'm doing, y'all. I don't like cussing in front of the kids. Let me close the door. Is that why I'm at it? How kids really like getting down, man. They repeat everything you say. Back to what I was saying. They gonna cut the pussy off in a minute. If they ain't gonna sell it, I can't make this decision. I gotta feed my little one. It used to be I could have all these kids and, and use them to get this money. But now I gotta work and pay for my mistake. Good. Shit, I didn't know you got the play you gotta pay now. I see how they feel when they was on child support. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna be back home living with their mama. <laughs> <laughs>
bitches gonna be living in their motherfucking car. <laughs> yep, they doing it now. It's getting ready to be ugly. And I think it's funny. I can't get over this shit. I'm telling you, hoes gonna be on the ramps begging. They gonna be having their signs up. It's gonna be hoes twerking next to them and shit, cutting them off, trying to get to the money. <laughs> <laughs> So there you have it. <clears throat> See, the thing is, this is what's tripping me out about these females, is they expect for us not to behave this way towards them. But they always do it to us. Right, fellas? We already know the answer. It's yes. I got one, <coughs> excuse me, that's stalking me right now, a new one. I'm serious. And I'm just like, I told her, I said, if you don't like my videos and don't watch it, all I'm going to do is block you. You know, you can't stop this. You know, you don't see. And this is what's bothering them, too, because, you know, most black females are control freaks. OK. And they petty, too. See, they can't they, they, they don't they, they don't control the Internet and they never will. See, and that's bothering them. It really is. You know, I don't really care. And, you know, the thing is that. Um, I was just answering some of my, uh, you know, messages that I received. And the, the sad part about it is, is that this really isn't a bad thing from my point of view as a black man in America, you know, uh, black females, they need to have that rug lifted from under their ass, you know, so they can stand on their, you know, two legs. They always boasting that they, you know. Uh, strong black and independent. I'm like, okay, but the word independent mean one that is self-sufficient and does not rely on someone or a group of people, in this case, the federal government, for assistance. That's not independent. That's co-independent. Okay. You know, so it, and it's a good thing. You know, it's a fact. And then, mind you, this one that's, that accused me of stalking her she lives in Canada. It's a black woman. She just made a video and mentioned my link in it and uh, complaining that um, I'm gang stalking her. And I'm like, what? What are you talking about? You know, but again, see, the truth hurts. You know, um, I don't I don't feel bad, you know, for um, for them. I don't, you know, because, again, no one put a gun to their head and told them to uh, get on. Section eight, you know, they took an advantage of because they saw it was available. It's the difference when you look at something and in life, everything is can be a form of leverage, control, creativity, expandability and predictability. Leverage. You don't got no money. You can go get a job. You get a check. You can get your place to stay. If you want to go to school, if you want to start your own business, that's a leverage too, right? Right. Control. You in control. You just sign the lease or you just sign, uh, you know, your rent agreement. And long as you pay the rent, you get the key. You in control to come in and out of the house and have who you want to come in and out of your house, whether it's business or personal, whichever. And I'm saying that to say this. Um, no one put a gun to their head and told them to get on Section 8. But see, they lazy and skank. See, and they mad because they asked and got put on blast. And this time, ha, <laughs> ha. The black man wasn't over there this time with them because if so, she would have turned on us and said, well, it was your dumb idea to get me to come down here. But see, she can't blame nobody this time. <clears throat> she keep getting stung in her ass by them bumblebees and we lighting her ass up. But before I continue, uh, that video is from uh, this gentleman right here. This is him. So if you want to, oops. You know. Yeah. That's him. So if you want to check him out, you know, hit him on the subscribe. Wait a minute. In fact, let me show you his. Uh, yeah, this is him. Oops. Yep. That's the one that did that video. <laughs> so show him some love by subscribing to him and checking, checking out his videos. 
But yeah, it, it's really sad because now um, more I'm, I'm, I'm getting stalked more now. And like I said, I'm an older guy. I've had my fun. I love women. Always have, always will. But I've had my fun. You know what I mean? So I'm not looking for anybody. It's This was about two hours ago. I'm sitting down doing some studying. And I look up. Right a few feet away. The other one sitting over there watching. Staring directly at me too. And then this was last night when I was at Dunkin' Donuts. She had to be about 20. She was cute too. And I'm looking like I'm too old for you and you too young for me. So why are you looking over here? She was hooked up, too. I'm just like, you know, go on and talk to somebody your age. You know, ain't nothing going to happen between us. You know, mm-mm, you're too young. You know, I, 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 <laughs> I'm already not looking for anybody. You know, and then a, a, a young lady that looked pretty like that, mm-mm, ain't nothing but headaches. Nope, 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 nope. And I'm saying that to say this. The fact that I'm getting more and more hate mail from black females. And black women. Oh, yeah. They, I tell you, they didn't jump on the ship and they busting at me. All types of bullets being shot at me. I said, but you all never say that I'm lying. You know, they always say, you know, you shouldn't be saying that about them. And I'm like, it's true. They fucked up. Okay. You no, know, Because if the tables was turned, brothers, how many times have sisters put you on blast or some other men in your family on blast that might have fucked up? They'll do it in a heartbeat. And think nothing of it. And view it that they did nothing wrong. And that you're the one that's crazy for trying to defend this person that fucked up. Or they'll quickly tell you, well, if you were so smart, you know, about your friend, you should have pointed out to him not to get go there in the first damn place. And gamble all his damn money away. Well, it's the same we saying for black women, black females, about this Section 8 thing. You already knew that the program was not designed for you. They told you before you signed those forms that there is a possibility that you can be the first to be removed from this and don't be trying to crawl uh, race discrimination or some form of, they, they gonna cover their ass, you know. But see, here it is, they thinking, ah, oh, well, that, that ain't gonna happen. They ain't gonna never ever take that away. You know, they may cut a little bit of it, they're not gonna do that, shoot, because we'll go down here and clown their ass. Well, they didn't already took it away now, so what, what you gonna do? You know, you don't wanna go to school. You know, you don't wanna do, uh, start your own business. You don't wanna take no online classes. You know, all you want to do is wait for brothers like me and many other brothers come out from working hard, you know, um, running their own business or working for somebody else or a combination of both. <coughs> Try to see if you can uh, <clears throat> get pregnant by us, you know. Or try to put an insurance policy on us. Oh, just hell, just wait outside and pull a gun and shoot us and take the damn money and run. Because you're skanking. See, so that's why, I, you know, I'm reviewing this, you know, you know, it is a happy moment, you know, because, again, you all hate the truth, especially when it's about you all. OK, you're full of lies. And you're always working to deceive us. And now. It's time to pay, you know, and I don't feel sorry for you, you know, because, again, you could have. That's one thing I can usually say about black women back in the day you know they were was skank they was but they was they were smart smart and skanky see now they just tacky oh, oh my god they like well look okay well i understand all that why well, i need to sign and the people were like well you understand that you may be the first to be cut out yeah i understand that but y'all gonna give me the letter today are you oh well no okay well give me the pen tell me what to sign and stop wasting my damn time you know they just oh they're just terrible today but see, all that comes with a price. And the fact is that now it's time to pay today. That's right. Oh, yeah. Because like I said, this one sent me an email. Talking about I'm gang stalking her. Left her phone number. Now, why would you leave somebody your phone number if you get gang stalked? See what I'm saying? It, it, this is it's, it's just crazy because now all of a sudden, now that the uh, black females in America's world has died, okay, it has been officially 
announce that they're dead. Okay. Now, really, if, if, if you would look at it from an industrial standpoint, you have a tremendous time and a tremendous task to do something for yourself. It's like, oh, for real? Oh, okay. How long I got? Oh, okay, cool. You know, I, hey, I'll try to save up as much as I can and put that to work some kind of way. And I roll with the punches. Nah, mm-mm, no. I'm getting hate mail that I'm mean. I'm the devil. I'm Satan. One said I need mental help. Another one called me a clown. Another one called me a coon. Another one called me an evil, dirty bastard motherfucker. And uh, many other colorful names. All because of the fact I said I was happy. You know, um, if I'm not mistaken, welfare and Section 8 comes from taxpayer money. I worked all my life. So why should I go? <laughs> oh, no, that's some bullshit. I'm happy as a motherfucker. Okay. That's right, because this is the Brian Watkins channel. I'm the voice for those who just might not be able to speak or too afraid to speak. I'm speaking for the ones that come in, work all hard, and walk in. And their girlfriend is in the bed having an orgy with his homeboys. I'm the voice for him. Where if he want to say something, she'd be, I'll do it again. I already did it before, so you know I'll do it again. See, I'm the voice for that person too, okay? Because I don't care. I don't. You know, this is a celebration. You know, because by all of them getting removed off of it, change bring in different things. See, all that, then talking all stupid and getting all loud. No, no more of that. Oh, no, 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 no. Why? Because why she trying to act all up? It's about another uh, 25 uh, hungry, cute black females. Like, I, 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 <clears throat> I, I'll take it. I'll shut the fuck up. Girl, you stupid. Because he got a big bag of clean socks over there and he about to go in there in the laundromat and wash his clothes. Can I wash some? See, I, I like that. It's like that. Like Richard Pryor, the late Richard Pryor says, shut the fuck up. See, now you got to shut the fuck up for real. Why? Because change is here. It's good. You know, like I said, they, they, they kill me with this getting upset with me. You know, don't die. Don't try to come over here and punch on me. You know, <coughs> you know, black females in America that um, are soon to be cut off Section 8. You all did this to yourself. You brought it on yourself. Okay. Now, don't get upset with me because I'm reporting it. You don't get upset when the you know local news come on in your city and your state, do you? No. So why, why are you upset with me? Like I said before, um, women always stick together, even when they know that that woman is full of shit. And I'm saying that, that I'm getting hate mail from black women trying to defend these skank ass black females who don't want to work, who got a whole bunch of different kids by different men who still be trying to sell ass. Yeah. Telling me that, um, I should stop making these types of videos and they detest me and like me and my videos. And one told me I'm going to go to hell and I'm going straight to hell. And yeah, yeah, whatever. So what? So, 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 so I'm still going to make another damn video about it because it's time for y'all to get put on blast. That way, when people want to come to America, they know to stay away from you all. Or if they choose to have something to do with you all. At least they got a good, you know, good, nice little guide guideline and a good tour map on, you know, what to expect from you. Okay. Oh, yeah. They can thank me and many other brothers that's on YouTube telling the truth about you all. You know, see, for years, they used to say, you know, men are dogs. You know, why don't you all just tell us the truth? Just be honest. Okay, we're being honest. And you still don't even like it. You're never satisfied. 
So I'm going to bring my talk to a close. And uh, enjoy the video. You know, and uh, there'll be more to come by, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> so subscribe to my channel for two reasons. I make videos constantly and I'm running a contest where you can win cash and prizes. But here's how it works. By you subscribing to my channel now, I'm always going to use previous videos. So I'm always going to mention the title of the video because I want you to win. And I'll just say a few things in the video. And all you got to do is fill in the blanks afterwards. So that's how you put yourself in a position to win cash and prizes. Those who like my videos, I thank you. And I appreciate your support and continue to uh, share my videos as well. That is well appreciated. Those of you who don't like my videos, better known as the player haters, I got a message for you. You think you're hotter than me, right? But always remember that I'm cooler than you. <laughs> Get down. And continue to leave your comments. If they make sense, I will respond. If not, I might put you on blast or you might get blocked. Depending on how I'm feeling at that moment, when I see it. And uh, don't forget to support the Brian Watkins channel by making a donation in the link in my description box. Don't you go.